Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. The channel is just really, really taking off and I'm, I'm real appreciative of that. Um, this is a follow-up to the video I posted about how to get rid of bad neighbors. And in that video, I showed you how you use black salt to do that. Now, I have received a lot of comments and questions regarding that video. And to be honest, I did not expect that video to just blow up the way that it did. It's got quite a few uh, views in comparison to the other videos that I've done. And unfortunately, about 90% of the people who've watched that video are not subscribers. And nothing wrong with that. I, I do hope they eventually come around and, and subscribe. That would be nice. That would really give our channel the kickstart that it needs, right? So I wanted to do a follow-up to that video to answer those questions because I realize in reading these questions that it's kind of obvious that the people using the spell and asking the questions are not familiar with spell casting. So this may be your very first attempt at witchcraft and spell casting, and that's okay. You have to practice to be perfect, right? But you need to understand the basic concepts, okay? And just how magic works in general and how magic works in this particular spell. So this video is a follow-up to answer those questions, okay? So if you've already tried your spell, this is a good follow-up. And if you haven't, and you've, you've watched that video, but you haven't tried it yet, this may stop you from needing to ask questions. Okay, so let's understand that first and for foremost, how magic in general works in, in any spell. This isn't TV, guys. So you don't cast your spell and poof, twinkle, twinkle, twink. It magically appears. This isn't TV. It doesn't work like that. Your spell sets your intention and it sends your intention out into the universe so that your wishes can be manifested. And that can take time. Okay, let that sink in for a moment. Pause for effect. That can take time. Regardless of what your spell is. If you want new love, you need a new boyfriend, you want to buy a new car, you need a new job, you need a new house. You want so-and-so at work to notice you, a promotion whatever it is, that can take time, okay? You're setting your wishes out to the universe. The universe is conspiring to set everything in line so that it all matches up and it comes together, okay? So give it time to do that and don't panic. You won't need to cast your spell again. There are certain spells that you need to refresh and those would be time sensitive. Um, you wanted a new job, so you cast a spell for a new job and you got a job offer. You didn't want that job, so you didn't take it. So you might have to cast another spell because the universe said you wanted a job, here's a job. You might have wanted a new boyfriend or a new husband and you cast a spell for that and someone noticed you and they asked you out and that spark wasn't there or you dated them for a little while and that relationship ran its course. That spell was completed and you might need to cast a new one. For things like luck and price, prosperity, you will want to refresh those spells periodically. A spell cast to manifest a specific thing, like getting rid of a bad neighbor, 
you will not have to recast that spout. You put that black salt down on their driveway or the doorstep of their apartment and you don't need to do it again. You just sit back and wait, okay? Now for this specific spell, people ask me, you know, do I need to do it again? I cast it two weeks ago and they're still there. I cast it a month ago and they're still there. Guys, think about what you're saying. Just take a moment and think about it. When was the last time you moved and how long did it take you to do it? This specific spell makes the person uncomfortable in that home. They don't like it. They don't like the building. They don't like the neighbors because of course those neighbors don't like them. They don't like the manager. It's, it's too far from work. It's, it's noisy on the freeway. It's, there's not a park close enough for their kids or they can't have a pet or whatever it is. This spell causes them to be unsatisfied with their surroundings. Now, if they own their home, there's a lot involved in moving. You can't expect them to be gone in two weeks. Come on, be realistic. It takes finding a new home, putting an offer on that new home. That new home has to be contingent on them selling their own old home. They have to pack their stuff, have yard sales, get rid of stuff, donate stuff, decide what they're taking. There's a lot of things that have to occur for them to buy a new home and sell the one they've got. If they're renting, if it's an apartment or a house, are they under lease? Are you really expecting them to break their lease because you're not happy with them? That's not going to happen, guys. It might, but that's going to be a rare occurrence. In most cases, they're going to decide not to renew their lease or they're going to have to negotiate with the landlord to get out of their lease or they're going to have to find someone to take over their lease and sublet from them. There's a lot of things that have to happen and the universe is conspiring to put everything in play so that it all fits together so that you can get your wish. Okay. So just be realistic, have a little patience, and understand how magic works. It's not TV, okay?